on the track and parading for the sixth and feature race, the Matt Scooter Finer Bullville Ultra, Cravani Farms, Eric Ledford driving number one. Cheyenne Ray, number two, the Cheyenne Gang, the lessees, Catello Manzi. Kentown, number three, Lloyd Voiles with Ron Pierce. Scoring ahead of the post parade. Go one more, number four, Franklin Cardinal and Carlo Policino, George Brennan. Dragon World, number five, Hyatt Holdings, Andre Farm, Millard and Maxwell with Dave Miller. Soho, number six, Sure TH Stable, Valdor Farms, John Campbell. Signatory, number seven, Ronald Mario, Jack Moiseev. Dan Dubé drives number eight, Sudden Panic for R. James Shive. Going for the series sweep, Forever Raptor, number nine, Gerald Mijal with Mike Lachance. And Desert Sign, number 10, Eminem Harness Racing, Patrick Lachance with Luke Ouellette. $105,200, the Matt Scooter Series Final. Exacta, time trialed in 148 and 2. Matt Scooter, who was driven by Mike Lachance, who has the favorite here at 9 to 5, Forever Raptor. $105,200, Matt Scooter Series Final. Race 6, here they come. And they're off. Desert Sign on the far outside. Dragon World. Soho is leaving. Forever Raptor is not leaving. Is caught wide there around the first turn. And uh, swooping down from post 10. Desert Sign to the top. Ken Town is second. Dragon World faces on from third. And Soho is on the move up from fourth. Cheyenne Ray is fifth. Forever Raptor tucks in six. Bullville Ultra is seventh. Go one more. Get some whip urging there. Then it's Signatory followed by Sudden Panic and Miller aggressive early with Dragon World. Off a quarter of 27 and two. Dragon World now clears the front. Desert Sign second. Here comes Campbell with Soho charging up boldly. We'll take over. Ken Towners reigned back in fourth there. Shine Ray is fifth to the outside. He goes. Forever Raptor will follow him six now. Then it's go one more. Seventh followed by Bullville Ultra. Signatory and Sudden Panic. Soho made the front. It's Soho, but here comes Cheyenne Ray like a shot. Cheyenne Ray, a dramatic move there from the Catman. And Cheyenne Ray just blows right on by Soho off a half of 55 and two. So Cheyenne Ray is fired up and turns it on, opens up by two. Soho back in the second spot. Ken Town is out off the cones from third. Flushed out there by Forever Raptor. Sets up his rally. Lachance has pace with him. Three wide. Tracking him is Desert Sign. Getting back into it. Dragon World on the inside gapping. And then it's Signatory putting together a late charge for Moiseev. 123. They're in the stretch. Cheyenne Ray trying to hold on it. Cheyenne Ray. Soho from the pocket with dead aim. Forever Raptor on the outside with a full head of steam under Mike Lachance. Chance urging Forever Raptor takes the lead, but Soho's trying to pace with him. They're in tight quarters there with Cheyenne Ray on the inside third now. And it's Forever Raptor, a series sweep for Forever Raptor. 152 and 1 over Soho and Cheyenne Ray. Number nine, Forever Raptor, three-year-old Bay Colt by Stan Forever, out of Audubon, Almahurst by Sun Sam. Owned by Gerald Migel of Westland, Michigan. Trainer Mark Jordan, driver Mike Lachance. Three in a row at the Big M for Forever Raptor, who sweeps the Matt Scooter Series in 152 and one here in the final tonight, a career best for Forever Raptor. In the winner's circle, it's Debbie Frederick and Harriet Harvey. Familiar faces here at the Big M. Waitresses here making the uh, trophy presentation to the uh, winning connections. Originally a $12,000 yearling purchase as at the Little Brown Jug Select sale, subsequently sold before his first start last spring to the current owner for $30,000. Seems like uh, a bargain here. He has uh, battled back from some sicknesses and problems with his uh, baby teeth. 
and uh, Mr. Jordan, who had success, who has had success with uh, trotters, is back in the winner circle, back in the uh, Big M winner circle with Forever Raptor. All right, we're down the winner's circle here, the Matt Scooter winner's circle with trainer Mark Jordan. The horse is a little too fired up there for Michael Chance to stay with us. Mark, tell us, first of all, how did you wind up with Forever Raptor? Well, I've known Jerry for a long time, the man that owns him. Did a lot of driving for him in Michigan, and uh, he wanted to send him out, you know, someone to take good care of him, and so. Is he, did you get him, uh, is this horse a natural? You do anything with him? What's the story so far? Yeah, he's a real nice horse to work with. Uh, very calm at the farm and stuff. Uh, he's just a good horse. He's taken to the mile track pretty easily. Yes, yeah, I think he'd, he'd go on any track. What's the schedule look like for Forever Raptor? Is he is a three-year-old? Is he staked or what? Yeah, you know, he's got the Suslo starting next week. It's uh, two legs in a final series like this one. And then he has uh, Berry Creek. There's a lot of people here who think that Forever Raptor is uh, something kind of special. I'm one of them. What about you? Yeah, I think he's pretty special, too. Is he the kind of colt we might see later on down in the, the big stakes, the big number stakes? He's got him in a few, and then he's staked in Ohio also. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we'll look forward not to beating him up real bad this year, and I think he can be a top uh, horse next year. Okay, Mark Jordan, thanks very much. Congratulations for Raptors won the Mascuda. Now let's go back up to Ken Workington.